Miguel Morate, I'm pleased to welcome you here in Basel. Thank you very much, Gabriel. It's a very pleasure for me to be here. You are from Valladolid, and after art history, you study guitar and musicology in Madrid and Salamanca. Then you earned a master's degree in instrumental contemporary composition in Madrid with Alberto Posadas and Aureliano Cataneo and others, and you also studied at La Sorbonne in Paris. In addition to your activity as a composer, you also work as music teacher in music theory and history. Today, your new piece, Comme son va s'étendre, will be premiered by the Camera Orchestra Basel, directed by Frank Olou. Yes, that's it. Hmm. Uh, in 2015, science made a breakthrough regarding the detection of gravitation waves. This became a creative stimulus for you. In Comme son va s'étendre, you wanted to translate cosmic force into music. How did you go about it? Um, first of all, um, well, this, this, this discovery was to me absolutely astonishing, amazing. So. What I used to do when I work with a piece, I first start try to find out as much as I can about that that phenomenon. Uh, in this case, gravitational waves, black holes, singularities. So I try to I start with a stage of information to get very very deep inside as much as I can because I'm not a scientist, I'm not a physicist, I'm not a, I, I've got I don't have that background. Uh, but then I, I get to a point where I go very, very deep inside a world I am trying to, to create. Where does this fascination for the exploration of the universe come from? Well, um, I couldn't really uh, tell when it started, um, maybe about 10 years ago, um, I think a composer, an artist, has to be open to its, to the world that surrounds him, to enrich him and to give him information of the world he lives in. And um, astrophysics maybe has um, been part of my interest, like, uh, as I was saying, um, 10 years ago. Um, but as many other interests as entomology, etology, that has fed me to and pushed me to, to compose something. And what does cosmic force sound like in your piece? Well, <laughs> um, uh, um, I don't know, I have no idea how cosmic force really sound. And I'm not really interested, and I didn't want at all to describe or reproduce the sound of a cosmic force. To me, all these ideas of waves of gravity, singularities, black holes were like inputs. So I found my own way, my personal way, to put that in an orchestra piece, and a medium in which you have to be very practical because you don't have much time to rehearse and everything. So I have, to, I have to be very precise, very short in my answer. I have dealt a lot with sound surfaces, with demi cannons, and with tissues that I compress, that I stretch, and that I distort, um, deform in very different ways and with different temporalities um, in a quite simple, Mana, using a very simple material. Mm -hmm. uh, what is the title Comme son va s'étendre about? Where does it come from? Well, I, uh, it's always very complicated to me to, to put a name to a piece because it's, it um, somehow it, it conditions, it um, pushes you to listen in a very um, uh, particular way. And of course, I don't want listener to listen to the piece thinking of gravitational waves or thing like that. You can, but you don't have to. So when I finished the piece, I remembered a, um, a melody that I have always adored, uh, Beauceoir, the Beauceoir de Debussy, 
that he composed when he was very young. And uh, in a poem that talks about nature in a very quiet and spill, still and peaceful uh, way, and that at the end says, um, uh, car nous nous sommes allons, comment s'en va s'étendre, elle à la mer, nous sautons with, well, it's, we cannot translate it, but it could be something like, um, for we depart, um, as this wave departs, we to the sea, we, it to the sea, we to the grave. So it was interesting to me to give another dimension to the piece, that to humanize a little bit um, <clears throat> this idea of the gravitational waves and cosmic objects. So human finitude in contrast to the infinity of the cosmos is also a theme. How do you implement this in the piece then? Of course, it, it is in the piece in the way that um, uh, the human being is something really uh, ephemeral. Uh, it, it's something sort of anecdote in the cosmic calendar. In the, in the cosmic calendar, if we think that the existence, the existence of the human being in the in this small planet of Earth, in the corner of the of a galaxy between millions and millions of galaxies, is about ten seconds. 